This is just a, a short video that I made quite a while ago about uh, RPG Maker, where I was just making a, a fun little RPG game. It was never going to get finished. It was just something to do, and there was a trial for it, so I thought I'd try. And then uh, I ended up actually learning quite a bit while doing it, and I had so much fun with it. So this is my church time lapse. So this video, while it's only about five minutes long, it took me hours to do this. I think it was four hours in the end, something like that. And I condensed it down to five minutes. So here, let's just start. And it actually starts a few minutes in. I've already started this, but you'll pick up where I'm at pretty soon. So you can see here, I'm working on like this stained glass window. And I'm using all assets in RPG Maker that they give you. I'm just in Photoshop now making a, a mask for it. So all of these pieces of this stained glass window are pieces from a different one that is just uh, like a normal shaped window. And I've decided because this is going to be for a church in the town, I was going to make it a cross. You know, just trying to be dramatic. You can see those stained glass windows on the side. That's where I took the uh, these little pieces of the stained glass window from. And the metal on the side, I had just taken them and copied them to turn it into like the cross shape. So now this thing on the right here is each different pattern. And I'm just going to copy and paste them into a random order to make it look like it's actually meant to be like that. And I was actually pretty lucky that... Uh, I had guessed correctly when I was doing the, the sizing because you can see there's like a couple pixels missing there but I just placed them wrong. The uh, stained glass windows actually fit really well into this and that was me finishing that. Now we're just going right into placing different assets down like these altars, this chalice that I have and I had to change the chalice because it's a church so I had to change it to gold with a ruby on it instead of the skull chalice that it was. And now we're going to take this carpet and we're going to try to put it underneath this, this altar thing here. So I have to select the whole thing and delete the carpet that's under it. And that took quite a while actually trying to select that table over and over again because I kept messing it up. And I can't remember why I was doing this, but I ended up not even using it. <laughs> like, I think I was trying to make a pew or something and realized, nah, that, that wouldn't fit there. So I ended up just putting these tables on the side. And, of course, I had to fit in a piano and a random shelf in the other side to make it not empty space. Put some crates in there just for more clutter. Now, these pillars, I decided to take the top of one pillar and the base of another and kind of put them together so you can see the full pillar. And I think I decided to go with three there instead of four on each side. And then I took this carpet tile to use as a, a block because the way RPG Maker works is everything is tile-based. And so I'm using a tile cut out of the carpet to space these out so they're in the right places. And now I'm taking the tops that aren't on the that bottom tile and I'm putting them on a separate layer. And you'll see why in a bit. But I have to do that with every single pillar and anything that uh, you would stand behind instead of it blocking your way, I had to put onto a separate layer. Now this is me doing the lights. Now I didn't actually learn how to do this i was just drawing these lines because i thought it would work out best that way but as you can see i end up getting rid of those lines in a second yep and now i uh instead of doing it the way i did it i darken the entire room and instead of drawing lights i erase the darkness and then i i add a little bit of a a smooth end to it try to light up the candles a little bit and then i thought there would be windows on the side here as well but I, ended, I didn't like the way they ended up, so I just did little dots where all of the lights would be. And I, I made it a little bit brighter. And of course I had to darken the top of the pillars. And now you can see I named them Overlay, Base, and Lights. Because you need to export them all separately and then add them. So now this is it in-game. It's really fast here because I'm still testing stuff. But you'll see in a second where I, I end up actually putting everything. And you'll see it a little bit slower. So this, I'm trying to make it so you can walk behind this little barrier here. 
but this actually took me like an hour to select all of this. Like it was so tedious selecting each one of these little individual pieces. I don't know why I actually managed to to finish it. Like it was so boring just doing that one part. But I think you're about to see it in its uh full thing here. Yeah. So you walk in, you can see the shadows on him. This is like the main character. You can see the light changing when he walks. And you can't walk through the pillars, but you can walk behind them. This box, you can't walk into it, but you can walk behind it. And of course, you can uh, walk behind this. You can see him, each of those little stands. And uh, I thought that it worked out really well. I did two things like this. So after this, I'll, I'll maybe show you the next one. But uh, yeah, that was my, uh, my RPG Maker church time lapse and uh i think in the end it did take me quite a few hours to do that because i was new it was i think this was my second time ever doing this so it was a bit of a learning experience but i had fun with it and i hope you had fun watching see ya